What a racket. It's that time of year. It's springtime. You know what springtime means? Mud season and flies and bugs and mosquitoes and deer ticks. What a diesel racket. Uh oh. That pin is breaking off. And that's not a good thing. Yep. I've got to get a vice grip. Ice. The audible man is really gifted and told me exactly. What a racket. Manifold spreader. Got to order one of those. Thanks to Texas, Roland Texas style. I never get the YouTube names right. Keep them real simple, folks. Easy Roland Texas style. Manifold spreader. I've got a door handle on order for the weasel. It's going in the body shop in two weeks. So when we were we were away in Florida, frolicking, frolicking. <laughs> I've been walking the dog. My mouth is cold. It's still chilly. When we're on the beaches, frolicking with Mr. Muggs, the body man, could be repairing the weasel. How am I gonna grip that? There's nothing left. Pin is busting off. Oil cooler lines, they've been ordered. They're different from 94 to 95. I thought I'd put the leaky ones from the weasel. I'm going to wait some. Whee! Where's the camera? Into the hole. I got a weld that. It's almost broken. Are you filming? Who, me? <laughs> Never! <laughs> Never! I don't make any more of those dumb videos anymore. I went to the co-op and I You went shopping? I'll return this off. Say goodbye, YouTube. Rockwell Sonic Crafter. Boy, I like this tool. 100 bucks. I need it right now because this countertop wasn't milled correctly. Much like the Corvair engine block, the halves don't line up. On the Corvair, it's kind of serious because the oil doesn't pass through efficiently because the halves aren't in alignment and it's so easy to fix. Just like on this. I'm going to take my Sonic Crafter and crank her up.
written my hand to death. Lots of spare cutting, whatever you call it. Vacuum. Two things. I'm looking for the headlights. I'm in the final purchase time for the HID headlamps. And I forget who the fellow was. Was he in Illinois? That had some recommendations for Halo headlights. Should I get the HIDs or do the bulbs and the little boxes go bad like they did on Mr. Napa Corvair's Equinox? A number of times I found one company in California that advertises on eBay. They're in Rowland, California. They advertise under four different names and I was clicking on the pictures and the pictures are identical except that the background is different. Exact same picture. There's three or four of them in Rowland, California. All different business names. It's the same company. So I emailed them. I want to get um, the LED, what are they? LED front turn signals, but the side turn signal is just a peanut bulb. I can get an LED bulb, I suppose, but it'd be nice if it had the side marker in the front had a bunch of LEDs, three, six, nine, whatever. And the back is probably the same thing. Maybe the LEDs are on the side, but the LEDs in the back, I don't know. Black smoke, dark, match the truck. And billet grill, probably from LMC. And careless, so I'm not to line those up properly. Not the first time. And what else am I going to get? Billet grill, LED lights, HID, or should I just get uh, plain old halogens with the clear lenses? They've got uh, halo rings around two of the headlights, the high beam and the low beam. I guess I'll get the fancier ones. The insurance company's paying. You're right. I'm going to vacuum this up and keep on working on. Get this glued and install it tomorrow. you got to make sure the gap is just so and shim it and raise it and lower it. And it's a little tricky. It's not quite as simple as it looks. Yeah, and Muggs is on patrol. So tell me who you were again. I forgot. <laughs> You were telling me which lights to get. And I got so many things going on. My, I must have 150 tabs open on my crappy Toshiba. I don't do it much on my phone. It's, uh, the screen's too small. Where is my phone? It's in around the corner on the charger. And I'm using the swipe. Let me show you this. Someone showed me a trick at the AT&T store. My old Samsung that I had for a month had a mic icon. But the new one... Blazer. The new one doesn't have the mic icon. So she showed me a swipe. You ever use this? Yeah. Please try again. You just scroll your finger over like you're writing in. Uh oh, here comes Mr. CW. I'm in trouble now. Hello, Mr. CW. Be nice. Look at that. Corvair Wild. You just scroll your finger. You don't have to type. You just drag your finger to the letters and it makes a pretty good guess of what you're trying to type. Not perfect, but it's pretty good. And where you find that is, you drag your finger on this very top screen. I don't know if it's just Samsung's or all the Android operating systems. You drag one finger on the very top and whoop, down comes the blinds. Choose input method. Keeper fast fill, which is your pins, personal identification number. Samsung keyboard. Or, whoop, no mic icon. Or drag the top down again. Choose input method. you got swipe which uses Google Mic app. And it's very inaccurate and it stops after every few words to ask you to correct it. And it's quite the nuisance. I like the one that was included in the Samsung phone. This was a Google one and I don't know why it's there, but it's junk. If you drag two fingers off that very, very, very top, two fingers, oops, you have to do it when you have a keyboard. The keyboard has to be up. You drag two fingers, you get some functions, Wi-Fi, location, vibrate, screen rotation, Bluetooth, toolbox, multi-window, power saving, quick connect, NFC, sync, smart stay, smart pause, touch sensitivity. Hmm. Uh-oh. Blocking mode, airplane mode, you just... Cool, huh? All these little tricks. So who was it that was recommending the uh, headlights? Hopefully you're watching this video. Corvair Wild on the bridge. Crank her up!